Hi folks, we're back on the Trotter van. It's the final bit of bodywork preparation before we paint it. See you in a minute. Right, well as you can see now, the uh, van's already primed as you know from the last episode. That's had three base coats of uh, Leckler Green TI primer, a real good thick filler primer. That's just got to be sanded down now to 500 grit and then it's ready for its base coat. We've got the two doors, one's still outside, we've got the two doors, the, uh, the bonnet lid there and also the rear door here which I'm just finishing off now. They've all had their uh, paint stripped off them as you know. And I've gone over them with some stopper filler just to fill in the little uh, little holes before I actually prime them. So that's the situation I'm in at the moment. I'm just getting these ready. So I'm going to do a little bit of sanding, put you on time lapse. We'll get these ready, and then the last thing to do is to cut everything back uh, to 500, ready for the actual paint. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay then, well, as you can see there, that didn't take too long at all. I know you was on time lapse, but all I've used is two papers. That was a thin skim of stopper filler, because I had some little pinholes and uh, a couple of little divots along there. So as thin as you like, put the filler on, and when it's obviously hard, I've gone over it with 180, and as you saw, I've just folded the uh, six inch pan in half. A lot of people tend to go mad with these, with uh, an electric sander and then you, you file it down too much. The best part which you can use is your hand and your palm and your fingers and you can fill every little divot. Without looking there, I can't fill a thing there and that's how I know I've done a good job. And all I've done literally is fold it in half at 180 sheet, it's a brand new one and all I'm doing is using my hand to go around the contour and I'm literally letting the paper do the cutting by using just nice little circular movements, no real pressure on there at all if you're having to push hard and hard and hard, then obviously you're either using the wrong grade paper or your paper's blunt. So just let the paper do the work and you'll see it start to disappear. And then just have a little check with your hand. Once you can't fill it anymore, then swap over to your finishing paper, in this case which is 320. And then you'll just go over it until you can get a lovely silky feeling on the surface and you can literally run your hand over it and not fill a thing. So that's what you're looking for. That's how I do it anyway. There's probably other ways to do it and I've never experienced any problems doing it this way. This is now ready to accept a primer. I've just got to go around the other bits on the door and do them as well and also with these little panels over there. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, so what we're going to do now is just tackle a bit on the flat area. So that was a curve we've done before. So all I'm going to do is use a little sanding block to give us a nice flat edge and do exactly the same. This is the 180 on there and I'm just going to literally let the sort, let the paper do the work. I'll try and do this in real time. And you'll see it start to come down. Always check it now and again. Now already I can feel that that is very, very smooth. And all I'm gonna do now is swap over to our finishing paper, which is our 320. Nice flat surface, nice flat surface, and literally just finish off. No pressure there, I'm literally, look, no, no pressure at all. And there you go, another effective Little repair, ready for primer.
that's one coat of primer on. So that's gonna go off for about 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll come back in, give it another coat, then another coat as well. But just to show you, this primer is actually very similar to the original color of the van. Let me show you. Now, as you can see, this is the actual color of the primer, which we're applying in, which is the green TI primer. And if I come around the side here, this is the actual color that the van was. And as you can see, there's not actually much difference. This was the original paint here, look. And just come around there, there's the green TI primer. So as you can see now, Jimmy's obviously got another job in here which he's doing as well. And uh, everything looks like it's covered fine, but what it will do, as I said to you, it will show up a couple of little things. Uh, I've got a couple of small pinholes here, for example, which means I can just go along there afterwards with a spot putty. And coming down on the corner there, as you can probably see there, I've got a bit of a filling to do just on the corner there. But everything else is absolutely lovely, as you can see there. Everything's looking good, so this is already now. Once I've done this today, we'll uh, let this go off overnight, and then tomorrow I'll come in and sand that with the hut with the van. So looking at the van here, as you can see, this would have been very much the original colour. So this is what it would have probably looked like when it was brand new, the van. And I did have a couple of little bits on here, just coming around here. As I say, once you put this filler prime on, we did put three coats on, and I just had a few pinholes down the side here. And obviously I've just filled them in now with some stopper filler. And what I'll do, I'll just take the last bits off with 80, just literally very gently as I showed you earlier on. And then I'll take it down with 180. And when I'm nearly there, I'll just finish off very, very lightly with a bit of 320. We'll whack a little bit of primer on top of that and then that's ready to go. But as you can probably see, everything's really nice. I've got a couple of little bits on the roof there which you can't see. I just noticed them as well, so I've just done them. And everything else, it's already, once I've given it a, a complete rub down with 500 uh, paper. We'll be doing that dry as well, you no need to put, use water. So as you can see, we're starting doing a bit of work on the scimitar as well, so that's the other reliant which we've got in at the moment. Jimmy's got another two cars coming in tomorrow, so they've got to be dealt with. So just got to use this opportunity now, while the booth's clear, to get this done. These will all be dry, and as I say, they will be ready, hopefully, for the top coat. There's a local car show in Woodall Spa in, I think it's, it's April, Jimmy? on about the 22nd of April, I'd like to have this there. So that's my intention, but as I say, I've still got loads of bits to do, bits and pieces, and uh, I'll leave this video here now. You've seen this is the majority of the final priming done now, after it's had its three initial coats, and then uh, we're all ready to get the top coat on, which I know you're all waiting for. So am I. Okay, then thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this little video. We'll see you again in the next video, and until then, bye for now.